In this segment, we'll show you how to assemble the cart body. Begin by standing the two cart body panels, part 12, on end and aligning the holes. Next, insert 3 quarter inch by 5 8 inch hex bolts, part A, through the holes and secure them with 3 quarter inch nylock nuts, part D. Next, align the tailgate reinforcement bracket, part 6, with the cart body. Now, insert 4 5 16 by 3 quarter inch truss head bolts, part C, and insert them through the cart body and bracket at the bottom of the bed. Secure them using 4 5 16 inch nylock nuts, part E. Next, align a tailgate guide, part 1, with the guide channel toward the inside of the cart body. Insert 2 quarter inch by 5 8 inch hex bolts, part A, through the guide, cart side panel, and tailgate reinforcement bracket. Then secure them with 2 quarter inch nylock nuts, part D. Repeat for the other tailgate guide. Next, turn the cart over so it rests on the tailgate reinforcement bracket. Now, align the front panel part 8 onto the cart bed so the flanges fit on the outside of the cart body. Next, insert 2 quarter inch by 5 8 inch hex bolts part A in the bottom center of the cart body. Then, secure them with 2 quarter inch nylock nuts part D. Next, insert 2 quarter inch by 5 8 inch hex bolts part A in the holes on the side of the bed. Then secure them with 2 quarter inch nylock nuts, part D. Next, align the wheel support, part 9, and insert 8 15 16 by 3 quarter inch truss head bolts, part C. Then secure them using 8 5 16 inch nylock nuts, part E. Now, align the latch stand bracket. Next, insert 4 quarter inch by 5 8 inch hex bolts, part A. Then, secure them using 4 quarter inch nylock nuts, part D. Now, align a front corner cap, part 2, with the front of the cart. Then insert 2 quarter inch by 5 8 inch hex bolts, part A. Then secure it with 2 quarter inch nylock nuts, part D. Repeat on the other side. Next, turn the cart over. Then insert 2 quarter inch by 5 8 inch hex bolts, part A, in the holes on the side of the bed. Then secure them with 2 quarter inch nylock nuts, part D. Now, press a flanged bearing, part Q, into each side of the drawbar tongue, part 11. Next, turn the bed upside down. Then align the drawbar tongue. Now slide the axle, part 10, through the wheel support. Next, slide the foot pedal latch, part 3, up through the drawbar tongue. Then insert the 5 16 by 4 inch hex bolt, part K, while threading a 5 16 18 SEMS nut, part F, on either side of the foot pedal latch. Then secure the other end with a 5 16 inch nylock nut. Now adjust and tighten the SEMS nuts to center the foot pedal latch and the tongue. Now insert the short end of the extension spring, part J, into the foot pedal latch. Then use the spring puller tool, part N, to seat the extension spring into the drawbar tongue. Now, slide an axle clip, part P, onto the axle flange facing in. Now, slide on a 3 quarter inch flat washer, part H. Next, slide on a wheel, part 13, air valve facing out. Now, slide on a 3 quarter inch flat washer, part H. 
Then insert an 8 inch by 1 inch cotter pin, part I, and bend the ends out. Now press a hubcap, part L, onto the axle. Repeat for the other wheel. If there's excessive play, use two 3 quarter inch flat washers after the wheel. Next, place the cart on its wheels. Then align the hitch bracket, part 4. Now insert two 3 8 inch by 1 inch hex bolts, part B. Then secure them with two 3 8 inch nylock nuts, part G. Now, insert the clevis pin, part O. Then secure it with the 8 inch hair cotter pin, part M. Now, install the tailgate, part 7, by sliding it into the tailgate. 